On March 11, 2023, at about 1 a.m., 26-year-old Samantha Maldonado was stabbed by her ex-boyfriend at a Chicago train station. The young Ecuadorian who had been living in the United States for less than one year met Alejandro Arellano in the restaurant where they both worked and after six months of relationship she decided to leave him. It seems that on the night of the events Samantha stayed in a bar with some friends after finishing her shift and there she met her ex. An hour later the young woman ran out of the bar to take refuge at the station since Alejandro was chasing her. The girl even managed to climb the stairs in a hurry and as soon as she reached the station she hid behind a box of maintenance equipment. When the train approached the station, Samantha tried to get on but the individual managed to get her away from the doors. Because of this, the two were left alone on the station and he with a folding knife that he carried on him gave the girl three stab wounds. Alejandro fled by train and although Samantha managed to go down the stairs of the station, she ended up collapsing in the middle of the street. Both the people who passed by and the train staff tried to help her. The paramedics immediately arrived at the place and Samantha, who was still alive, managed to give them the name of her attacker. Unfortunately, the young woman's injuries were very serious and a few hours later she died in the hospital. Almost at the same time, the police arrested 31-year-old Alejandro. According to the agents, the individual had the clothes and shoes stained with blood. Not to mention that in his pocket they found the folding knife also with blood and fabric. During the interrogation, Alejandro admitted that on the night of the events Samantha and him argued. And then he followed her to the train station. To this he added that he only punctured a little with the knife but that he didn't remember the stab wounds. The subject was accused of murder in the first degree and to this day remains detained pending trial. Pablo Maldonado, the girl's father, told the media that Samantha was studying English and that she dreamed of returning to Ecuador to create a company. The entire family asked for justice and also financial help to repatriate the body. Thanks for watching and subscribing.